what's up you guys welcome back to another video it's your girl d don't forget to hit that like comment subscribe to my channel we're back with another weekend vlog yes another weekend vlogs right now i'm in plano almost close to plano i'm going to a friend's um it's one of my good close um guy friends and um we're gonna go to like maybe do some bar hopping and stuff but he is actually uh stay by the star if you haven't been to the star it's like where the dallas cowboys had a practice field or whatever like that and they built it up so they have a whole bunch of restaurants and things of that sort so we really don't have an agenda but um i was supposed to be out here a long time ago but i kind of had to do a reel and i was just like um I need to do this real and I was on the phone a friend she needed to vent to me so we're almost there so if you're interested in today's video don't forget don't forget to hit that like comment subscribe and let's get into the video Okay, y'all, so we at the Star in Frisco. We right here at Me Casino. We trying to find a restaurant that's something like got good food, but you know, certain places I'm gonna give you what it's gonna give. So we trying to find a restaurant and just, I guess, bar hop or something. I wanna go in front of the, um, the cowboy thing because I haven't been. Should we do that before or after we drink? Cause I ain't no good when my legs be drinking. Okay, y'all, put your back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm recording from my camera. I did make it home. The two spots that you see me, I went to. I went to Me Casino, and that's at the start. And then I went to um, something, Lion or something. I get the name. I'm going to drop it below. But I left my camera in my friend's car, and I did not realize he stays like 45 minutes away. So I'm about to wipe this makeup off my face, y'all. And I'm about to go to bed. I did give me like a little some leftovers and stuff but i don't even need that but i'm about to go to bed i'm very much tired but i was so excited that i went because i normally don't go places and stuff y'all but it was good because i don't get out so i'm really trying to enjoy my little four-day weekend so once i get my camera that tomorrow i will pick you guys back up so yeah okay you guys so it is the next day i literally did not realize i left my camera in my friend's car until i got home but y'all i had such a good time yesterday so if y'all have not been to the star in frisco um out there the colony y'all is so nice like literally so nice and i was just like i'm not turning back around so i just met him about like 30 45 minutes ago probably like 30 minutes ago and i got my camera so right now i'm gonna edit a video because what is it today saturday editing so we can get the video out on sunday but if y'all new here my name is d go check out my previous vlog i have a maintenance vlog that i put up before this um a while ago but anyways so i'm about to edit y'all i look a mess i took my <laughs> i took my makeup off like literally but honey i have not had been out like i go out get dressed but like going to like a spot and another spot and another spot i have not did that in a long time so i'm about to sit here and edit this video and yes y'all um yeah it's been a day and then we was headed to walmart because um i need to do some household stuff and get some things and y'all my baby my two-year-old well if you're new here i got three kids so i have a 16 year old a seven year old and a two year old and my two year old he threw up like straight liquid and um so we think we just gonna throw away his he has like a it's not a sippy cup but it's like a cup with a straw so we're gonna throw that away but um let me go ahead and get started in editing this video um because it shouldn't take that long but yeah so when i get done i will pick you guys back up okay y'all so it's been much much later in the day so i edited the video 
Y'all, I love Chelsea J. Like, Chelsea J, oh my God, I love her. She, if you don't know about Chelsea J, she's on um, Instagram and YouTube. But y'all, let's have a chit chat with D. Because this right here, let me tell y'all something. So, I'm that type of person when I go into a store, I really like to not have any problems. So, long story short, I was about to purchase some paper towels. And it rained up $8.92. But in, you know, the section, it said $5.27. So, and I got me a daiquiri. If you new here, my name is Dee. I like to drink. This is a daiquiri. Um, long story short, um, the paper towels for a six pack, it said 527. So I told the lady like, hey, can you take this off? I'm gonna pay for this stuff, but can you walk back there with me so I can show you? She's like, okay, sure, whatever. Long story short, sis, old lady, we went back there and I was telling her like, hey, She's like, no, it's not that price. And this and that. I'm like, well, okay, well, how much are these? Like, she's like, but well, that's 15. I'm like, well, no, that can't be 15. So we're going back and forth, back and forth. Long story short, I was like, you know what? At this point, can I just get a manager? Because I need to speak to somebody. Because if you can't change the price, that's fine. But let me go ahead. I'd rather take a no from somebody higher up, like a manager. She was like, no. If you're not going to listen to me, then I'm not going to get a manager. So it was two other ladies back there and they was looking and I was just like, I was like, what the do you mean that you're not going to get a manager at this one? And she walked off. So I found the manager in the front and customer service. I was like, hey, can you come here? Explain the situation to her. She was like, okay, you know, she was like, I can, I can give you something off. I'm like, okay, fine. Next thing you know, when she took me to customer service, she was like, the price that it was ringing up originally when they took it to customer service it didn't even ring up that price she was like just give it to her for five dollars so when i was walking up to customer service or walking off the lady that was in the self checkout at walmart i stick my tongue at her like you know because there was no re reason for you to be nasty like that there was no reason to be nasty and you know if it's something beyond you why are you mad so, yeah. And then, we was on our way home, coming from getting a daiquiri. And we was at a stop sign, well, at a light. And this guy had a sign. And the sign said, to be honest or to be truthful, I need a drink. So my man gave him a scratch out ticket for um whatever how much it was like two three dollars or whatever like that and i could not believe like we was just sitting there there laughing so yeah i promise i just be trying to mind my business but stuff be happening at the wrong time that's causing conflict i just really and you know really that's all that's been going on i haven't had nothing else going on today this is just a realistic weekend in my life. So y'all seen I took a shower and I put my cream on my face. What I did was when I first got out, I got um I did a little editing um to some old past videos. So yeah, I actually fell asleep, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and pick you guys up in the morning. What's up you guys? So today is Sunday, the next day. I got up this morning, went to the gym, did my little workout, had a little breakfast. 
I wanted to get some coffee, but I didn't because I'm like, I need to slow down on the coffee. So I'm in Target right now. And y'all, I don't know about y'all Target, but my Target, I know we call Target Target. But they took the Target up a notch. Let me show y'all. Like, look at this. Y'all, when I tell y'all, like, this right here, if these shells are not, like, aesthetic pleasing, like, oh my god, so clean, and you can see everything. This is the whispers that you be hearing at Target. And they be telling you to get this and get that because it be just the way that they present stuff to us. So I got a couple things I need to get and hopefully I don't get other things that I don't need, but you know how that goes. So Okay y'all, so I'm back in the car. Went to Target, literally got two things because I was like there was no need to um walk around and all that. So yeah. And y'all, I did go to the gym. This little hair thing I got from um, the Beauty Spa, like I told y'all previous vlogs, I like to have different hair bonnets. And plus, like, you know, when I get done, like, in, like when I get back home, just take it off. So I like that. So I got my son some pajamas. I got some razors. And um, I went into uh, Walmart and I got a bell pepper because I'm cooking today, like some baked pork chops or something like that. And I found, I got this sauce right here, y'all. The Cholula. Y'all, that sauce right there is so good. I love it. But look, that's what I want to tell y'all. <laughs> so, I'm trying to get sponsorships. And I'll pitch out to brands or whatever like that to try to, you know, do a collaboration. But, <laughs> I so check so happen to check my um youtube email like this is just strictly for my youtube stuff sponsorships and i can see people comments uh who subscribe to me so i keep all that information because i feel like i need to just in case anything but i got an email this morning and um i normally don't check my spam for um on my uh youtube email anyways and then you know on instagram you know you have your messages your dms and then you have your primary your general and your requests so i seen that i had like four so i was like well let me see what it say and this company it's a hair care company and it's it don't matter what they say i'm gonna tell y'all that tahiki hair first of all this says it all but i was like okay and it was about amazon you know hey we have a deal you know um doing clipping hair extensions you'll get it for free and so i was like hello uh i said yes we can discuss can discuss a collaboration and she was like thank you dear could you please tell me if you live in the usa and i was like mm, yes i do so their response was Dear, our activity is that you place an order and send me the order screenshot to me and I will transfer the money to you via PayPal. Could you please accept? Now, if I'm placing an order and if it's going through the website, why do I need to send you a screenshot and then why are you sending me money back? Or why are you telling me that? So I was just like, uh, let me bring you out here. So I was like, um, so at this point, I'm looking at the page. Y'all can tell like when something is legitimate because I've had a situation before my sponsor, my first sponsorship, um, where they said something and I gave them my information and, and I look, did the research. It was people out there doing sponsorships for them, but I never got the product anyways. So I'm like, anyways so long story short the hair that they have on here y'all you know how they i can't even explain it but this is the company can y'all see and the clip-ins they look like you know how when you wash your hair and you blow dry it out and it's frizzy i'm not saying who not looking for that look who likes that type of hair but i'm not looking for that type of hair to put in my head especially you know promote and i'm telling people about it we don't wear that type of hair and for two the hair look like it's been you know how you take a broom and you just beat it it's that big 
So I'm just like, who, lady, who you think you talking to? So it's two pages. So guess what I'm finna do? I'm finna go ahead and block you because I don't, I, baby, this 2022. And whoever follow for scams at this point, I'm not saying there's not people out there that don't do their research, but I'm not the one. So moral of the story is, y'all, when you get into this influencer stuff, don't let what your common sense tell you to just, you know, go away just to get the deal. That don't even make sense. So I'm literally blocking them and blocking any accounts. And it's another account I think they have. Lady, get off my line. Get off my line. So besides that, I'm gonna go to the gas station. Now my gas tank is on full. It's just a notch before full. And y'all know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit up here and go put five dollars in my tank. Because if that's what I have to do to make sure I don't have to spend 40 50 dollars, I will be at the gas station every day. So, note tip of the day if you want to save money, that's what you need to do. So, yeah, I'm about to go do that, and then I need to go home and I need to start editing a video that has to go up today. So, yeah, but y'all, in the meantime, make sure y'all go check out some of my other videos. Make sure y'all subscribe, subscribe, comment, share, go follow me on my Instagram. Because, like I told y'all, we trying to build this community, and, and, and we finna be somewhere, and we finna be somewhere real soon. When I say be somewhere, growth. So normally when I do my weekend vlogs, I normally do it like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but today is a holiday Memorial Day. And really I did, I was supposed to go to Uptown Dallas and do something, but you know, when a girl be working a nine to five and doing her YouTube stuff, I was like, I might as well just take my time and just, I had a daiquiri two days in a row and I've been chilling and had some seafood yesterday. Oh yeah, y'all, I tried to record and uh, eat that seafood with y'all but it did not work so i do apologize but y'all as y'all can tell i'm in such a good mood right now like such a good mood i woke up on the right side of the bed and let me tell you why two things first thing <laughs> y'all i had my faha on like literally for a whole day it, you know do not judge me but um I was so tired last night, did not shower. I woke up this morning, y'all, all this, well, I still get a little minimum swelling sometimes when I don't put my faha on, my waist trainer, but, you know, that's normal. But y'all, when I tell y'all, if y'all wanna know something, go watch my previous surgery vlogs, my tummy tuck part one through three, and breast augmentation, y'all, that faha is the key. That faha is the key, is the key. It's gonna get you together. Second thing, so, if y'all don't know um, Miss Creative Diva, she's on YouTube. And, um, you know, she's, you know, I could say we probably run the same age bracket. She might be a little older than me, but I love her. Love her, love her. And one thing I like about her, she's so authentic and telling the struggles of, you know, she wanted to get this Sephora. Um, she wanted to get nominated and she wanted to make it to the finals, but she didn't. And, you know, to me, you know, it's so crazy when you're big. Uh, creator and you're trying to do you know your next accomplishment your next goal and not to get it to see the struggle I'm not saying that I like to see that but it surprises me because I guess I'm not there yet and um, to me I feel like you know you're on the path but you know of course you want to get to the next goal and I always watch her videos and she always you know she has a lot of subscribers but the views so I watch people's, you know, YouTube video, you know, all the way through. 
if y'all want to really know how a lot of people really make it subscribers don't it's a part of it but it's also um the views too so you know to me like if you really like somebody and like the content i'm not gonna skip the video i'm gonna watch the whole thing through because i'm trying to do the same thing so i left a comment on her one of her videos and um you know, I told her, you know, hey, I understand. That's why I watch people's stuff all the way through. Not saying it in a way to get people to come over to my channel. I said it because, you know, hey, like, I know the, how hard the work goes into this. Like, literally, I know how hard it is. I know when you try to upload it and something goes wrong with the music and stuff like that. And, um, y'all, she watched my video that I just recently uploaded and subscribe and I'm just like girl me me and I was just like oh my god I was telling my babe like my dude I was like oh my god like I don't know like you know y'all don't some people don't understand it, the feeling of never being able to you know how some people just been lucky to win this and win that I've never been like that I always had it hard I never really had good luck into certain stuff in life you know it's not like I had a bad life but you know some people just get luck and just hit the damn hit at the casino when you know win all that money I've never been that girl I always have to work hard so for you to really find your passion and to find your lane where you want to be like the feelings are so genuine it's so genuine and like I never really cried about uh, this or anything like that. It's just like, that's why I watched Chelsea J and a lot of creators because even though to us, like they're, you know, did a lot, but to them, they're trying to get to the next level. Sorry y'all, I'm just caught in the days right now because that's how I, I'm feeling. So I uh, just wanted to, you know, express that with you guys, you know. I, I'm a mom of three and I am 32 and for me I remember when I was in school I used to say by the age of 30 I'm gonna be here uh, by the age of 35 and y'all I'm telling y'all by the time I turn 35 I'm gonna be successful I'm going to be somewhere traveling giving my kids to different type of experience in life and being comfortable so whoever watches this and and me and whatever you get from it you know i very much so appreciate every little view like comment even the dislikes it doesn't bother me you know that's one thing i have to learn what i have learned i'm that type of person like i wake up like my tolerance for stuff and caring i don't care I don't care what nobody say. At first, I used to be embarrassed to do this. But when I start realizing other women around me, they like, they want to do it. So I'm like, okay. It's just like, it's never been a lane for that. But as y'all can see, I'm just chatting, you know, um, chit chat with D. So yeah, y'all, I'm just, I got so inspired today. So I do have to record a video for a sponsorship. I do need to get back to that. I'm going to do that today. And uh, it's Memorial Day. So our plans, we're going to probably barbecue, uh, I don't want no liquor today. I just don't because liquor just, uh-uh. I've had enough of it. I've been doing it since Friday. <laughs> so today, it's just going to be very much chill. I don't really want to, I don't really want to do too much nothing today. So, but yeah, in the meantime, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch these videos. Let's get these numbers up. Let's build this community. And then I'm going to figure out a name but yeah i hope you guys are liking this content you know um and also y'all follow me on my instagram at miss queen underscore d and uh, thank you so much for y'all just hearing me rant and me trying to get all this stuff together figuring out and um yeah we're going up from here so yeah i'll pick you guys back up later